why does the 49ers white boy crew always take the bump QB to the Warriors games? I can't see. Understand. I call him the Cabo Click. You just cut right through it and call him the white boy. The white boy. Click. All right, my my bad. I, I'm they're, they're, they're like the they're like in, they're like in sync. You know what I mean? They're Dude. like the Backstreet Boys. It's so funny with the they're Jimmy like a boy T-shirts. Band. Yeah, J- Kittle's wearing a Jimmy G pajama outfit right now, and he's not even on the team anymore. Okay, Debo had to take Brock Purdy to the Warriors game, and then these dudes take Sam Darnold to the Warriors game. Can anybody please tell me what's going on with this scenario? To me, it's like, it's a very clear message that Kittle and McCaffrey are sending. Like, it's our guy. This is our guy, Sam. We're bringing him to the games with us. We're we're not bringing Trey. We're bringing Sam. This is our guy. And the way the Niners work is like, the the captains on the team pick the starters, essentially. It's a democracy. The captains pick, and they're making their choice like, known right now in public it's a i don't know how could you not on, notice that if yeah you're on live tv too in front of yeah. the world okay i could see our choice. Z to an this extent. is our friend this i can see him to an extent he pulls the girls yeah. for the crew right okay <laughs> I'll, I'll i'll give you a pass on that one i get it but what's sam darnold doing for you what's it going to take you to a hobbit movie i mean i'm just not seeing the correlation between sam darnold you got Brock Purdy, you got Trey Lance, and it's Sam Darnold they're bringing to the games. I don't know. I can't. I can't back it up. Debo, picks but does it? But, but but Trey Lance. It's like isn't Sam Darnold just kind of like anyone but Trey? Because Trey Lance was the organization sort of forcing a quarterback on this locker room that feels that the locker room feels that it makes the the decisions. So by by embracing Sam Darnold, isn't that the locker room saying like we call the shots here? We decide who the quarterback's gonna be. Yeah, Isn't it a no, power play? Hundred percent. Because it was because, like you said, they forced Brock Purdy and Trey were kind of forced, right? They were drafted, and Jimmy's yeah. still on the team. So this is their way of honoring their friend. Oh, oh, Sam Darnold just came in, so we're going to choose him because these other guys try to take our friend away. It's like, yeah. no, your friend is a yeah. bum. Okay, yeah. he choked in the Super Bowl. We had the ball yes. last. He choked yes. in the NFC Championship. We had the yes. ball last. Couldn't yes. get it done. Right. Yes. And then let me make one more point because I know you got viewers. Javon oh, man, you're the last one in line. Do you Javon think? Kinlaw doesn't suck because of his knee? It's because he has that peanut head. All right. I've never seen a dude as big as the body that he has with the smallest head on earth I've ever seen. He looks like the dude on Beetlejuice with a shrunken head when they're in the lobby about to go to the underworld and he's sitting next to the free, to the uh, to the witch doctor. He has the smallest head of a dude's body. I've ever seen in my life. He was talking all that trash on this show. I seen it. And then what did he do? You don't need to say nothing. Cause I know you can't, you got to deal with the Niners. I'm just making an assumption, but I'm going to do it for you. So today is Sunday, May 7th, 2023. And Javon Kinlaw is still in the San Francisco 49ers. I'm going to say it for you. I don't expect you to make a comment. I'm doing it for you. You talked all that head Javon. And we had to sign an $80 million D tackle to replace you. That's all I got to say about that. But yeah, white boy crew, <laughs> give it up. You called him. Give it a race. You called him peanut head. I haven't heard someone get called peanut head since I was in middle school. Dude, he that he was has a humongous head. giant wow. body with the smallest head I've ever seen in my life. So they control him on the D line. They just control his, his head and he just moves around at will like in the NFC Championship game. I wouldn't be hating <laughs> if he didn't come on this show and was talking all that smack while eating, mind you. I couldn't even understand him at the time. If he didn't do that, it'd be all good. But since he talked all that, he said, you guys can talk all the smack you want if I don't come through this year. Well, it started now, right? Okay. Fair enough. It started hey, man. Now. Dirk called you peanut head, Javon. What are you going to do about it? Hey. That's hella funny to me. Other thing people would say on the on the uh, playground is that your head was, we call you like a planet head, like a chromodome. Either your head was too, too big or too small, but that really cut... It, it, if someone said anything about my head size when I was 13, I don't, I'd probably cry. That's a tough one. <laughs> man, we got to hey, bring Beatles that back. Beetlejuice 4K. Beetlejuice in 4K. Go see it, y'all. The dude, the dude uh, in the lobby with the shrunken head, Javon Kinlaw 2.0 right Beetlejuice there. Beetlejuice is one of the original Beetlejuice is one of the greatest movies of all time. I love it. Oh, 100%. Movie. I said 4K 100%. for a reason. 